born to a Targonian aspect during the peak of the Rune Wars, Kael honored her mother's legacy by fighting for justice with wings of divine flame. She and her twin sister Morgana served as protectors of the Masia for many years, until Kael became disillusioned with the repeated failings of mortals and abandoned this realm entirely. Nonetheless, legends tell of her punishing the unjust with her fiery swords and many hope that she will one day return. Welcome lore lovers to Lion Drag. Today we delve into the celestial saga of Kale, the righteous warrior of justice, from her noble beginnings as winged protector of Demacia, to her diverging paths and epic conflicts with Morgana, join me as I uncover the untold stories behind this iconic figure. Let's explore the depths of her celestial powers and the intricate web of relationships that shaped her destiny. As the Rune Wars reached on, Mount Targon stood as a beacon against the approaching darkness. Under this light, twin Scale and Morgana were born. Their parents, Mihira and Kilam, undertook the dangerous ascent in search of power to save their tribe from annihilation. Even after Mihira discovered she was pregnant, she continued the climb. At the summit, she was chosen as the divine vessel for the aspect of justice, wielding a sword with a fire brighter than the sun. Soon after, the twins were born. Kale, the elder by mere moments, was bright, while Morgana was dark. Mihira transformed into a formidable warrior, surpassing any mortal. Kilam grew fearful of her new divinity, and the magical enemies drawn to her light. He decided to protect the girls by taking them across the Conqueror's Sea to a settlement said to be safeguarded against magic. In their new homeland, Kilam raised the twins, who grew more different in temperament each day. Kale, precautious and headstrong, often debated the settlement's leaders about their rules. She had no clear memory of her mother's powers, but understood the laws were meant to protect them. Though her father seldom spoke of it, Kale believed Mihira had saved them by ending the Rune Wars on a distant battlefield. When the twins were teenagers, a streak of flame split the sky, and a sword blazing with celestial fire struck the ground between them, breaking in two. Kilam was distraught, recognizing the blade as Mihira's. Kale eagerly grasped one half of the weapon, causing feathered wings to spring from her shoulders. Morgana cautiously followed her example. In that moment, Kale felt deeply connected to her mother, convinced this was a sign that Mihira was alive and wanted her daughters to follow in her footsteps. The people of the settlement believed the twins were blessed by the stars and destined to protect the fledgling nation of Demacia from outsiders. These winged protectors became symbols of light and truth, revered by all. Kale fought in numerous battles, leading the growing militia and imbuing the weapons of the worthy with her sanctified fire. However, her pursuit of justice began to consume her, seeing threats both within and outside the settlement. She established a judicator order to enforce the law, hunting down rebels and rivers with equal zeal. Despite her strict sense of justice, there was one person toward whom she suffered her judgment, Morgana. To the dismay of her followers, Kale allowed Morgana to rehabilitate wrongdoers who appeared humble enough to admit their guilt. Kale's protégé, Ronas, was the most disapproving of all. He swore to do what Kale would not and attempted to imprison Morgana. Kale returned to find the people rioting and Ronas dead. Consumed by rage, she looked down upon the city and summoned her divine fire to cleanse it of its sins. Morgana flew up to confront her, raising her blade. To purge the darkness she saw in mortal hearts, Kale would have to start with her own sister. The two clashed across the heavens, their blows reducing the buildings below to rumble. Suddenly, their battle was interrupted by their father's anguish cry. Kale watched Kilam die in Morgana's arms, a senseless victim of the day's violence. Holding the two halves of their mother's swords, Kale vowed never again to let mortal emotions rule her. As she soared back into the sky, high above the clouds, she felt she could almost see Mount Targon on the horizon, its formidable peak baited in the red of the setting sun. There she would seek perfect celestial clarity, there she would stand at her mother's side and fulfill her legacy to the aspect of justice. Though absent from Demacia for many centuries, 
Kiel's legend has profoundly influenced the kingdom's culture and law. Grand statues and icons of the winged protector inspire every warrior who marches to illuminate the night and banish all shadows from their land. In times of strife and chaos, many hope for Kiel's return, while others pray that the day never comes. Hey there, if you are enjoying this deep dive into Kale's lore, don't forget to support me by liking, sharing and subscribing to Lion Drag. Your support means everything and helps me bring you more content like this. During her time on Targum, she reunited with Mihira, her mother and the current aspect of justice. Over time, Kale became more moderate towards emotions and mortality, ceasing to deny them. She continued to ascend and address world-threatening problems when necessary. She also aided some Shurimans in need of the aspects of justice help. At one point she met Rice and spent some time with him, referring to him as her old friend, though the details of their time together remain unknown. For centuries Morgana has searched for her sister, documenting her findings in her journal. A Solari warrior reported seeing a winged creature ascending the mountain peaks. A wind mage claimed a bright flame streaked through the air, spinning away faster and faster. A Demacian noble, convinced the winged protector was still alive, sent riders to track her. After decades they found a single white feather beneath Targon. A lunaric child claimed to see a winged ghost flying around the mountain in the middle of the night, though his mother did not believe him. Many centuries passed and Morgana heard a voice, a lonely distant prayer. She was certain it was Kale praying to her, but her prayers remained unanswered. Kale is an incarnation of justice, while her sister Morgana represents restorative justice and advocates for the repentant. Kale embodies retributive justice, punishing those who commit crimes without mercy or consideration of factors such as motives, origin or social status. Despite her desire to create a just world and protect the innocent and righteous, her lack of empathy for sinners and her zealous nature make her stoic and cold, seeking to punish wrongdoers without forgiveness. She believes this is necessary to protect people. Kale is zealous in her pursuit of justice and punishing evil in all its forms, whether common criminals, tyrant kings or world-threatening entities. She takes great pride in her role as the aspect of justice and constantly strives to transcend and achieve perfect celestial clarity about justice. While she appears cold to our most people, especially sinners, she deeply cares about her family and friends. After her duel with Morgana, Kale began rejecting her mortal and emotional aspects, believing them to be the root cause of the tragedy which became her emotional trauma. However, after traveling to Targon and spending time with Mihira, she stopped denying her emotions, likely due to Mihira's guidance and teachings. Mihira approves of Kale's ideals but does not want her to lose herself in them. Now Kale continues to fight evil, protect the innocent and strive for constant improvement and self-ascension. She dreams of building a paradise for the just and glorious, sharing Mihira's ideals. Now let's discuss about her relations. Morgana and Kale are twin siblings, with Kale being the elder. As wind protectors in Demacia, they saved numerous lives despite their differences. Their relationship strained after their father's death, leading to conflicts over their attitudes towards justice and their celestial and human aspects. Despite this, they harbor a deep love for each other, recognizing their mutual dependence. Mihira is Kale's mother and a significant influence on her ideals of justice and creating a better world. Kale deeply respects Mihira, viewing her as a savior and mentor who guides her to avoid losing herself in her ambitions. Kale and Morgana fought and defeated Aatrox during his attack on ancient Demacian city when they were wing protectors. Aatrox and Kale have starkly conflicting personalities and harbor mutual animosity. Kale considers Rice an old friend and he reciprocates her goodwill, though the specifics of their friendship remain undisclosed. Kale is aware of Zolani and has encountered her in battle at least once. In the Dark in Saga alternate scenario, they confront each other again, potentially resulting in Zolani's defeat or her attempt to possess Mihira's celestial body. Silas is aware of certain truths about the sisters and their powers, as seen in the Lux comics and Mage Seeker events. 
and there you have it lore lovers, the captivating tale of Kale unfolds with this celestial clash and heartfelt bond. If you enjoyed this journey through the lore, make sure to like, share and subscribe to Lion Drag for more enriching discussions on your favorite champions and their stories. Join our Discord community to connect with fellow lore enthusiasts. Until next time, may the celestial clarity guide your path.